we meet at a very dangerous moment in our history and in the history of the world to address you on the subject of implications of a Zionist attack on Iran. We say that Israel wants to attack Iran because Israel ultimately wants to rule the world. That's why we believe all these wars are taking place. But why does Israel want to rule the world? And you want Israel to rule the world so that one day, not too long from now incidentally, a man would stand up in Israel. Nabi Muhammad alayhi salatu wasalam described that man to us 1400 years ago or more. He said that that man would be a Jew. He would be a young man. And so the end of history will witness young people taking over the world. <laughs> He would be a powerfully built man. He would have curly hair. And he would declare, I am the Messiah. He would be al masihu Dajjal, the false Messiah. Dajjal's final attack must be on Iran. Because as a nation, Iran is a political threat of Israel. This may happen during or after the Malhamma. After Dajjal have destroyed Iran as a power, he can emerge from Ispahan as a human being. Now he will face no opponent in denying the establishment of Greater Israel. Jews will accept him as Messiah. 70,000 Jews will follow him wearing Persian shawls. There is a hadith that Dajjal will be followed by 70,000 Jews from Isfahan wearing their Persian shawls. You, you heard the hadith? And so immediately I come to the conclusion that these will be Jews who will have Muslim names because they're coming from Isfahan and they're dressed up as Iranians, Persians, not as Jews. So these will be a hidden force emerging out of Iran that will be supporting it Dajjal, externally appearing to be Muslims but internally supporters of Dajjal. And so I am anticipating now that there are going to be great changes in Iran. And through this talk, I'm warning the Iranian government and the Iranian people that the attack is coming.